Darts player Adam Smith Neal has been given an eight months ban after punching a rival in the face at a local darts tournament. The 30 year old reacted angrily after losing in an amateur tournament in Nuneaton. The incident, which took place in March, was captured on CCTV and shared on social media. The video footage showed Adam Smith Neal punching his opponent in the face with his fist after losing a game. Smith Neal, who had repeatedly attracted negative attention in the past, was suspended by the DRA to investigate the case further. Following a hearing on the 15th of May, Smith Neal was retroactively banned for eight months from the date of suspension, the 12th of March. The Disciplinary Committee of the Darts Regulation Authority, DRA, convened for a hearing on the 15th of May 2024 to consider a case involving Adam Smith Neal. The case relates to allegations of assault and threatening behaviour by Smith Neal. On the 9th of March 2024, Smith Neal was playing a match in the Nuneaton Darts Open at the Lucky Break Sports and Pool Bar in Nuneaton. After Smith Neal lost the match, his opponent offered his hand and Smith Neal punched him in the face. The incident was captured on CCTV and attracted considerable media attention. Smith Neal was suspended by the DRA pending a hearing. At the hearing, Smith Neal accepted the charges against him and claimed that he had felt threatened by his opponent, which was why he punched him. This was not fully accepted by the committee. The committee later delivered its decision in writing, and the sanction imposed is that Smith Neal is banned from playing or being involved in any capacity in any DRA sanctioned events for a period of eight months. This ban is backdated to start from the 12th of March 2024, this being the date of his initial suspension by the DRA. This means that Smith Neal is unable to play or participate in any events until the 12th of November 2024. Despite the incident, Smith Neal is still eligible to qualify for the PDC World Darts Championship, which begins in December. With his ban ending on the 12th of November, he will be able to compete in the qualifying tournaments that provide players with the opportunity to secure a place at Alexandra Palace. 